Have you ever seen a picture and wondered how you could recreate it in mid-journey? Well, there's one thing you should try. Like here, this screenshot from Star Wars. John Boyega's character, Finn, holding a lightsaber in the climactic battle at the end of the movie. It's a pretty cool looking picture, but how can we make this in mid-journey? We are going to use the describe feature. In your prompt box, you're gonna hit forward slash describe. Now, as long as you have the picture saved on your computer, you can select it, and mid-journey will do its best to describe what it sees. It will give you four prompts. A man holding a blue Star Wars lightsaber in the woods. A Star Wars villain is aiming a blue saber in the snow. The mysterious boy who's waiting for his lightsaber in the snow, a man is holding a lightsaber in the dark, etc, etc. And what it allows you to do is to just click on these numbers at the bottom that correspond to those prompts. You can hit submit and Midjourney will run these prompts for you. But let's take a look at the results. These aren't exactly what we wanted. I will admit that this particular prompt turned out pretty good. These not so great, nor were these what we were looking for. So what's the point of using the describe feature if it can't actually help you recreate what you want? Well, there's one big thing you can try and that is involves using the original picture as an image prompt. You're going to hit the plus icon down here beside the prompt box, upload a file. You're going to upload the picture to Discord. Now you'll be able to click on it. It expands. This is where we're going to right click and hit copy image address. Now we can include this in our prompts. We're going to go back up to our describe prompts, click on them, then hit control V or command V and paste the image address into the prompt. Now when we submit, Midjourney is going to generate with our reference picture as the foundation. And look what it comes up with. Now like, whoa, these are pretty cool, pretty cool. I don't even mind these, but the prompt really isn't that good either. Then you have these, the mysterious boy waiting for his lightsaber in the snow. Like, these are really cool. Same with these, like number two is a great picture. There is actually one more thing you can do if you wanna make your generations even closer to the reference image. You know what, let's try it with all of them and see how it goes. You're gonna copy the image address. Then at the end of your prompt, you're going to assign a weight to the reference image. And you can do this by hitting dash dash IW and then a number between 0.5 and two. Now this number represents the relationship between the picture and the words in your prompt. If we add a weight of two, that means our reference picture is twice as important as any words we have in the prompt. Whereas if you made it 0.5, the words would be more important than the picture. So if you want to recreate a picture more closely, you're going to bump up the image weight. Like, whoa, <laughs> these are pretty amazing. Number three is great. Oh. Man, look how powerful these are. The hands aren't perfect, but that'll be fixed in like a couple of months. And to be honest, they're not even that bad. Number one's a cool pick. I really like number three and number four because it kind of looks like he's wearing Ray's outfit. Like, isn't that what she had? You know, that vest with those sleeves underneath? It's a cool picture. And then you have these. That's pretty cool. Like number two a lot. And this works even in the most extreme cases. Like here, a picture of a bow and arrow. If you've ever tried to make a bow and arrow in mid-journey, you'll know just how bad of a job it does. It could just be a data set issue where Midjourney wasn't trained on bows and arrows, but either way, it can be a pretty frustrating problem to run into because you're like, well, Midjourney can do everything. Why can't it do this? I got this picture off of Google, by the way. This is not made by Midjourney. So we're gonna run it through the describe feature. And it comes up with these, bow and arrow, a man shooting a bow and arrow, a young man practicing archery. Describe knows it's a bow and arrow, but watch, when I run these prompts, it's not gonna come up with anything good. <laughs> Look how bad these are. <laughs> Number three is hilarious. Number one is like, okay. Uh, the, these are not the best. Mm, actually, these are surprisingly good. Like number one, would people are going nuts for that. Same with number three, that's actually quite impressive. But take a look at these when we include the reference image in our prompt. I think number two is absolutely fantastic. Granted, the others didn't work out that great, but Midjourney is a slot machine. Best of luck to you. And for full disclosure, I will say this didn't work out perfectly. I didn't think these turned out that great. These are in fact pretty awful. And these are just the worst. But if we took the one that worked out really well, a man in black is shooting an arrow, and we add the image prompt, 
prompt and then bump up the weight of the image. Let's see what it comes up with. Oh, these are pretty good. Like number one's awesome. Number two is okay. Then the rest, you know, not that great. And keep in mind, there are also some parameters you can add to these describe prompts, like the stylized value and the chaos value. If you're looking for just the perfect picture, you might want to include a higher chaos value. This will expand the variety of your grid, meaning each of the pictures will look quite different from each other. So instead of getting four half decent pictures, you might get three weird ones and one really, really good one. And if you're going to be adding chaos, to your prompts, I highly suggest you bump up the stylized value as well. This will give Midjourney more creative freedom and probably result in prettier pictures. Here it is with the Chaos 8 stylized 400. Look how good number three is. Like, holy cow, that is perfect. And by God, it is not easy to get bows and arrows in Midjourney. Leave a like on this video so we can share it with more people. I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time. Peace.